Good morning everyone. Today is a beautiful sunny day and uh, that means I'm going to the gardening center. <laughs> it's been raining last week and then it was damp and I couldn't go to the center but now is the day and hopefully tomorrow as well. <laughs> It's really easy to guess <laughs> where I am. I'm in heaven. <laughs> Let's see what nice things I will get today. Oh, look at her. These beautiful things me think of Christmas. So pretty. What are these big things? Huh. They're really big. This is the right size for, for our privacy screen. Huh. And they're not ever green. That's not good. Then there is this huge rose I haven't seen before. What is this rose? I don't know. And then what else? And there is this creature. Oh, the butterfly. Look at her. Oh, she's enjoying the sun. Oh, so beautiful. And it is November. I can't believe. And this plant has beautiful. Look at this shape. And, but the leaves are a little bit strange. At the, all the branches, really beautiful curves. These are the Nispero I like. Just look at the florets. Oh, they're so beautiful. Like velvety. So, so soft. And this one is really small, the little one. And we have little, slightly bigger options. And I'm looking for something a bit bigger, maybe. There was another one which is now. Ah, it's here. Let's ask how much is this one. Because this is a beautiful shape. Already lovely, really nice shape. And right size. Though it will require something planted underneath here. But it, it has a really beautiful shape like umbrella. I'm not sure what's happening with the leaves because it's a little bit unhealthy. Mm, don't know, I don't know, I have to think. Yeah, because someone is definitely enjoying eating those leaves. Huh. I'm getting five plants of Piracanta. So that will help me with the privacy screen. And then... Wait. Oh, this is so good. The Magnolia. Thank you, Erika. It is beautiful. These are really beautiful, have nice leaves. Need to ask what they are. And then these are really, really beautiful, fresh and nice. Oh, how much they are. Is it 15? I need to get one at least. Oh, they're so pretty. I think this one, one of those can be our Christmas tree, mini Christmas tree in the garden. I love it. And how much are these? It's 11 euros for those. I don't know what they are, but they are evergreen. They look nice, shiny leaves. I hope you can see they're really pretty. From here is better. And, and they have um, stones for the garden as well. What a wonderful place. <gasps> look at the bell. I love it. Oh. I need one like that for the house. 
Oh, I love it so much. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, let's ask what these are, and then about this one, and then there is something secret here. They're hiding things here. <laughs> oh. Now I think that the, the camellia I got last time, the big one, is this one. It's exactly the same leaves. And look at the flowers. Oh, pale pink, really pretty. What a beautiful, beautiful sight. Ave Maria is really happy with all the plants loaded. We have huge magnolia, beautiful one. Um, this one, which is this year will be our Christmas tree. And then Piracanta, and that's it. And then I got more textile. Really pleased. Ding, 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 ding. Ah, la la. Now the most exciting thing, unloading and putting things into the place and thinking how it looks like. I just, I want to leave those trees in Arbor for a few weeks, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> it's so cool. This is a beautiful one, really healthy and bushy and fluffy. I love it. And uh, a gorgeous magnolia tree. Oh, how beautiful is she? It's huge. It's a proper tree. I love it. It is really healthy. And look at all the buds. Okay, this is the funniest part. The girl textile delivery into the garden. Good. Another beautiful day at the lake, sunny and nice, and that means I, I can start planting today. But first I have to put all this down there into the garden. And I will start with the first one, Piracanta. This one is really heavy. Okay, okay, my love. Let's go. It looks just heavenly good. <laughs> oh. All the morning today I was wondering um, if the cats, uh, the local cats, uh, have found our mortadella and cheese uh, on in the summer kitchen because yesterday we have forgotten our plastic bag with all the goodies from the food truck and yeah the mortadella is really really delicious and it smells on all the village so i'm not hoping to find anything left today but still let's see if there is something left for me for lunch the moment of truth let's check oh i'm really surprised not a single cat has touched our back with the mortadella. Wow, I'm really surprised. I can smell it. I mean, entering the sun kitchen, you can smell mortadella straight away. We have very educated and well-behaved cats in the neighborhood. I'm really pleased. And that means I will have some mortadella with bread 
some tea. And today I want to try the other cheese I got yesterday, the tiny little one, goat cheese, but much younger. Uh, because I was dreaming to try it yesterday evening. I think I have all the... Oh, it's really... Oh, it's really hard. I need... Yeah, it's really hard. I'm very surprised. Oh, just look at this cut. It is so beautiful. And the cheese itself. Look at this. Okay, let me try it. I have decided where I want to plant Pirocante and it will be by the fence uh, near, the, near the stream but then first I have to get the fence ready for planting things against it so I have to paint it in black this is the typical story when a little project, project leads to another project that's fine. Last time I was painting windows and here is my painting station. Oh yo yo. <gasps> okay. I'm I was really naughty and I left it. Oh, okay. This is really naughty. Ay ay ay. Well, that happens when you leave your brushes for a long time without any attention but i will try to clean it with the liquid and i can use a different one just now and i will i promise i will clean it properly i think this one will be good yeah brilliant and then the black paint oh i love it love it painting things Actually, I have found a brush which I did clean last time and um, yeah, I can use it in the garden. It's not the perfect clean, so for the fence it will work. Good! And I soak this in the liquid, so hopefully they will, clean, they will be restored. Here are my beautiful, beautiful Pyracanthas. Uh, three will be on this level. One, two, three, and two on that level. And this will be a good base for my other plants. I will train them as an espalier, hopefully. I will do more research. I already saved some examples of how, how I would like it to look like, but I do need more research. Okay, this part of the fence is wire, wire brushed and I will start with the painting. It all looks like a huge mess, but I love it because there is some life happening in the garden. I love it, love it, love it. Oh, and when there are some bushes and greenery, it feels so much better here. And oh my God, that looks so good. I have done this part. Now I will continue down there, but it already looks so, so much better. I will do the second coat. Um, later today but it is so good and how beautiful the green leaves are against the shiny black fence so pretty love it and the weather is so good I'm so lucky because yeah the forecast was rains the whole week 
and now it's sunny and I just want to get done as much as I can in the garden until the rain starts next week. So yeah, painting, painting, painting. Dee -dee 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 -dee. It looks so good, so good. <laughs> The fence looks really good and I will go up there and start planting my pure contact from, from this terrace and hopefully if I have some time left here. But here the soil is not prepared and it will be quite difficult to dig out because it's full of blackberries and other stuff. So I'll start with the easiest part. <laughs> I was so concentrated on planting the trees uh, that I have forgotten to look around me and it is beautiful. The sun is setting, it's really quiet and nice. And good news is the magnolia tree is in. Ta-da! And it looks really good. Now I'm making holes for Piracanthus and I think <laughs> I don't think I will finish it today. enough for today and I planted everything I was sure about uh, Piracanta as a background for all the garden which is good it's evergreen uh, it drains well it has flower in springtime and it has beautiful beautiful berries now when everything is bare and naked and um, here I have an apple tree, Espalier. And then maybe we will do a little border later on with lavender, rosemary, etc. And then the Piracanta goes all the way up there. In the corner we have a um, magnolia tree. And then I'm not sure about these two guys. This camellia is beautiful and it gives some privacy and when you're up there it covers just this part of the house which is good and uh, I, I like it there, uh, not sure 100%, we'll see. And then this little guy which is really really beautiful and bushy and nice color and I, I, I love it there. I'm just a little bit confused that it's small now, but it will grow fast. And then we will have really tall structure here, which is good. And then we have more camellias, berberries, and one leftover piacanta, uh, hydrangeas. And slowly I will be moving from that wall further into the garden and we'll plant things. <laughs> I'm not sure about um, the rest of the camellias. Maybe this one will go there where the stick is and it will form beautiful bush here uh, by the entrance to the pergola. This one is really nice and actually this one can be trained as an ispali because it's really bendy and it's nice shape. Look at this. So I could... Look at this! It's ready to be an ispali. And this one is really beautiful. This 
pink, deep pink color and really full, full flower. Beautiful. So yeah, I think this one will be my Espalier Camellia. Then I have tiny little one yellow, which is really tiny. And I have to Google today if it's possible to keep Camellia as a shrub, as a really short shrub. So I could plant it somewhere here. And uh, oh, I have another one. <laughs> Uh, but no worries, I will find a place for all the plants. We have lots and lots to do. And it is getting dark at home soon. I just need to tidy up the garden and then I'm off.